It's going to be a quick tutorial on uh, simple tunic color changes, capacity values of like the bomb bag, seed bag, all that, button color fixes, and warp song values. Um, this will be for a Z64 ROM management tool as well. Uh, so these two files here I'll have linked. This is from um, Gino, made these templates for all this stuff. You're going to want to download uh, either Visual Studio Code or Sublime Text, or both. It doesn't matter. I use both. Once you get these two files, uh, you're going to want to go to your Z64 ROM folder, patch, and paste them in there. Or just move them in there. Uh, the common icon item static just fixes the A button. Uh, by default, it'll be like red or something like that. I can't remember the color, but it's wrong. It's it's like Master Quest, so this just fixes the color to original. That's automatic. You don't need to touch that if you don't want to. Unless you want to change the button color, in which case you can change this value. Uh, the one you want to edit, though, is your common code config. Gino made this template here. Um, same deal, just these are just active patches to fix button colors to the way they were in uh, 1.0 or 1.2 before debug, before um, MQ. And uh, the template's pretty straightforward and laid out. Uh, so, say you want to change any of the tunic color, um, you just delete that little number there so it activates it. So, this will be for Kokiri. This is the default. Kokiri value that's laid out and uh, it's in the format of RRGGBB so if you look up like a color wheel for example should have pulled this up you can type uh, this value in to the color wheel and adjust it accordingly to your liking so this is default Kokiri, say we want to make it a little bit lighter, right, you would drag it over here, you can get that value, that's your RGB value, paste it there, and then you would save the file, oh, build your ROM, and see what color tunic we got here. And this will work. This is going to be the same. The template's all laid out, so everything else will be the same as well. Yeah, there it is. The lighter green that we had picked. So that's a, that's an easy patch for that. Uh, I'll do a different video for the icons themselves after, but we'll go over the rest for now, quick and easy. Um, Self-explanatory for Goron tunic. Just make sure you get th this. Comments it out. Number sign. So, if you ever want to comment it out, boom, that puts it back to vanilla. Uh, same deal with the gauntlet colors, same format. Uh, upgrade capacities, you're going to need your hex calculator for this. Um, so, the format will be, uh, so Quiver, for example, um, the first value will be basically these last two digits of the format. So the default quivers are these values, for example. And if we pull up our hex calculator, convert hexadecimal to um, decimal, right, there it is, okay. <laughs> so 1E is the hex, which is the value 30, which is the default quiver. So say we want to make default uh, value 50. Well, you know, we want to start off with a 50 value. What is decimal 2 hex? 32. So this is, this is the value representing 50, 32. I would change 1e to 32. And also you can see this is the 50 quiver. These two values, 32, so that makes sense. And then you can change the other ones. Say you want hexadecimal value 99 that would be 63 on our final upgrade 63 boom uncomment that oh and uh 
for this one, the 28, let's say, um, instead of 40, let's make it 60, which is 3C. Okay. Okay, there's that. And that will give you the correct capacities all the way through. Uh, same deal with uh, item refills. It's all the same format. Same deal with the notes. Um, Gino laid out all the the notes, like the format of it, what you need to follow, what values correspond to what note, etc. It's just something that's going to be personalized to your hack if you use the warp songs. But that's about it. The rest you just kind of have to play with, figure it out. Pretty straightforward stuff. Templates laid out. There you go.